Hi people, it's Anilio. You could call me Island Girl and today I'll be doing my little cousin's 4A, 4B hair and I'm gonna be doing a wash and go. She's never had a wash and go so we were both excited to, to do this because you know, wash and goes are my thing. I love, I love wash and goes. I love a good wash and go. If I can't do nothing else, I could do a wash and go. And I'm gonna take y'all throughout the whole process from washing the hair to, you know, deep conditioning and then styling. We're gonna do all of that. is a lot of hair so the washing process was a real struggle okay uh my little cousin is way taller than me i'm a midget i'm like four eight and so you know trying to find a position was difficult but we ended up getting it done i had her bent over the tub and put her head under the faucet and then i got in the tub and just like leaned over her and and washed her hair that way and I used Herbal Essences um, Coconut Milk Hydrate Shampoo. It's a decent shampoo. I mean, it's not something I would repurchase, but it's okay. It's doable. gonna deep condition her hair with one of my favorite deep conditioners and just a FYI this is a protein deep conditioner it has egg and mayonnaise but it doesn't smell bad you know it's store-bought so it doesn't smell like the homemade thing now I usually don't like to use tools so using a comb to detangle isn't really something I would do but her hair was super tangled so I did have to use a comb my fingers just wasn't enough she normally never uses heat so I felt comfortable using heat for deep conditioning and later on throughout this process so we just used the Con Air hooded dryer, which I like a little bit better than the blow dryer. So this is what her hair looks like after rinsing. You can see in the front of her hair is a little bit looser than in the back. She has some 4A in the front, some 4B in the back. She originally thought she was 4C, but no. I see a lot of 4A and 4B in her hair. Maybe a few 4C patches here and there. As for moisture, we'll be using Aunt Jackie's Butter Cream. And this is an intensive sealant, so I figure it add moisture and seal it in all at the same time. It's very lightweight and she's low porosity, so that's really good. We're also going to be using some Wetline Extreme Gel for the wash and go. Okay, do the little modeling thing with this do when they done with their hair, like just, you know. Oh yeah, this gonna be, this gonna be funny. Shut <laughs> up, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> do it again, do it. Do it, gay, gay. Okay, okay. <laughs> 